What is up, everybody? Mr. Purtis here. Welcome to our video or overview of how to SAQ. SAQ stands for short answer question. There's a lot of acronyms in AP world, um, and this is one of them. So this is an overview of how to do it. We'll work on it throughout this unit and a whole lot of other units. So first, what is SAQ? SAQ is a short answer question that has three parts. So there's question one, question two, question three, and question one has one A, one B, one C. Question two has two A, two B, two C. And question three has three A, three B, three C. So there are three SA, three SAQ sets all together with, and each one has three parts. So three times three is nine. So there's nine parts overall. Each of those parts is worth one point. You either get the point or you don't. There is no partial credit for these in AP world. So there's no half points or quarter points. So they, the reader reads the answer and says you either get the point or you don't. So the maximum points you can get is nine on this. Generally speaking, one will be, one of the SAQ sets will be a primary source, someone who was there, who was present. It could be multiple primary sources, it could be one. The second is a, the second part is a, is a secondary source, which is a historian who is writing about the event. And then the last one will not have any source with it. There won't be a document with that. On the AP world exam, you're going to have 40 minutes total to answer the three SAQ sets. And it's worth about, it's worth 20% of your overall grade. So on average, you're looking at about 13 ish minutes, um, to answer each SAQ set. Uh, as we start earlier in the year, I will give you closer to 20 minutes and then we'll slowly ramp back the time. So we're at about 13 minutes by the end, um, by May. So we're ready to go in the exam, but it's 20% of your grade. So one fifth of your grade are these nine parts um, or of these three SAQ questions. So a couple things, and I'll remind you of this constantly as we're going through it over the course of the year, but kind of the three, I put three up there, but I obviously added one. So four most important things. One, answer the question with spe specific details. You wanna be specific. You don't wanna say it had a big influence on people. You wanna say specifically what influence it had on someone, for example. Um, the second one, each answer. So 1A, 1B, 1C, each of those should be about three sentences long. If you do a conjunction and but, however, it could be two, it could be four as well if you write short sentences, but I'm gonna say about three on average. I'm usually looking for three. If you do one sentence, it's usually not enough. Um, so there's that. You will never bullet point. It always needs to be written in complete sentences. And again, about three complete sentences is what we're looking at. And last but not least, and this is hard for people to get used to, but you will never, ever, 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 ever in anything we do in here, DBQ, this, whatever, quote something. You're not going to quote from the document in your SAQ answer. They want you to summarize what you've read and explain how what you read or how what you're answering helps explain your point. Um, so here's our three sentences. I, I, the acronym I like to use for this is how to ace the SAQ. First sentence, answer the question. So use one sentence that rewords the question and puts it into an answer for you. So one um, impact of Islamic architecture or one way Islamic architecture is shown in the images through minarets. Okay. That would be one sentence that if the question was explain how Islamic architecture is shown in this picture. So that would be that. Then you cite specific evidence to back up your claim. So this is one sentence that uses the document or information that helps show your claim. Islamic architecture use minarets um, at mosques in order to um, call to prayer. That's that. So that's the second sentence. And the third sentence connects it all back. Um, therefore, the minarets show the importance of Islamic architecture in this. So answer the question, cite evidence, and then explain. People have trouble with explain, but explain is, is the third sentence. So three sentences all together. And if you don't do it exactly like this, it's okay. This is just my formula that I think, and a lot of other people world teachers that really, that helps people. Um, so this is my question. This is my sample. This would be 1A, okay? Explain what is the best breakfast cereal in the United States. So I have three sentences here. Explain the best breakfast cereal in the United States. I said the best breakfast cereal in the United States is Cookie Crisp. Don't even argue with that. So Cookie Crisp, so you know now by reading my first sentence what my answer is to it. But now I need to, now I need to cite specific evidence. I need some kind of evidence to back up my claim that Cookie Crisp is the best. So I said, along with simply being able to eat chocolate chip cookies for breakfast, Cookie Crisp also contains many vitamins and minerals. So that's my citing of evidence. So I have my claim, my citing of evidence, and now I need to elaborate on it to expand, to kind of connect the whole thing back. So I'm saying why these two things, which I said is my evidence, makes it the best cereal. So I'm gonna come back and say, this combination is ideal for any child, teenager, adult who wants to be healthy 
yet enjoy a tasty meal. So that's kind of my three sentences. That would be one part of one SAQ um, and how we do it. Just so you can see this very quickly, this is the SAQ. I'm not gonna read through these, but this is from 2019, the AP World SAQ set. So this is SAQ one. This is our secondary source. This is from a historian. You can see one ABC, all right? And then we got number two, this is our primary source. This is GDP per capita, um, which is another story for another day. You got, you see two ABC, and then we have three or four. On the AP exam, you get, you have to do SAQ one, you have to do SAQ two, and then you got a choice between SAQ three or four, which we'll get to later on, but you can see these have no document with it. It's just straight up ABC, and then again, ABC. So. That's what we're looking at. That's the overview of the SAQ. Um, when I see you tomorrow, we will work on an SAQ and kind of practice it and look at it and see how it works. Um, but this is an important skill. We'll be working on this for the next month and a half, trying to get this down. So any questions, as always, you know what to do. Write it down. Let me know. I'm out.